my taste is espresso. Y'all, like there is a once in a lifetime type of thing. Cause I've always thought like, don't nobody win this stuff. Y'all thought I was playing? No, I was not. I don't know what it does. That's terrible to say, but y'all, I don't know what it does. I mean, all that yesterday. Kaylin came in the kitchen, she was like, okay, so you just felt like chefing it up, huh? Y'all thought I was playing? No, I was not. Since I wasn't treated with antibodies, my symptoms are gone and I tested negative. I was good to get my first dose of the vaccine and I did look at all this mask me. So I just got my first dose. Boom, bam, I was not playing. I am not. When I say not trying to go through that again, like I know you can still get COVID even if you vaccinated, but the symptoms are lessened. Definitely not what I went through. I had to sit there for 15 minutes, so my 15 minutes is up. I'm about to go get some gas, cause I'm sitting on E. Find me something to eat, and probably go to Target or an Ulta. Haven't decided yet. Starbucks, how can I help you today? Hi, do you guys have the apple crisp macchiato? Yeah, which size would you like? Uh, grande ice with um caramel drizzle. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I was about to say, as y'all can see, but y'all can't see because there's no signs out here. But I'm in the Starbucks drive through, about to try the apple crisp macchiato again. I forgot to tell her iced, I think. Anyway, I'm about to try it again, but this time I had caramel drizzle added to it. Hopefully it's ice, because I wanted it iced this time. Dang, did I, did I say ice? Hi. Hi. You need a straw? Oh, no. Thank you. Okay. You too. I probably should have got a straw, just so I can stir my caramel is at the bottom of the cup. Once I pull up in a parking spot in Target, I'm going to try it. So. She did give it to me ice, but like I said, I should've got a straw just so I can get the caramel from off the bottom of the cup. Might be the syrup. Try to mix it up a little bit. It's not working. I need to start carrying some of my metal straws in my car. Let's try it. See, all I taste is espresso. I'm gonna have to wait till I get home to stir it up. <laughs> Since I got it stirred up, let's taste it. It does taste better iced. That syrup down there is actually the apple crisp syrup. I still need to stir it up some more so I can taste it more, but it's pretty good as it is right now. So, look at my hair. I'm just doing what it wants. But anyway, let me show y'all what I picked up from Ulta and Target. So, first I went to good old Ulta. So, I picked up some more Tree Hut Sugar Scrub and the Moroccan Rose is my absolute favorite scent of their scrubs. I also got another Tree Hut Scrub, one that I haven't tried before. It's the Vitamin C Shea Sugar Scrub. It reveals a brighter looking skin. I also picked up, this is new as well, this CeraVe, CeraVe, however they pronounce themselves, the Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser for normal to dry skin. Y'all know I use Dr. Bronner's everywhere my face my body everywhere but i feel like it's really really you know doing a number on my face like drying my face out because i use it every day so i wanted to try an actual facial cleanser something that's made you know to clean the face because dr bronner's really isn't and it's kind of harsh so yeah i picked this up and it says cleanses and hydrates and removes makeup without disrupting the protective skin barrier so yeah i hope this is a good cleanser let me know if you have tried it because i'm interested to see what you guys think another thing that i got that's new that just caught me when i was 
standing in line. <laughs> you know how they have those little trial sizes of stuff. So I got this, the ordinary niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% stuff. I don't know what it does. That's terrible to say, but y'all, I don't know what it does. It says high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. Okay, so I do have some blemishes. So I'm gonna look this one up. I'm gonna look at some reviews of this one on, of course, YouTube. And last but not least, <laughs> What I actually went in there for. I actually went in there for these lip oils. These things are so bomb. And the first time I even heard about them was through Casey Aaliyah. I know y'all know her. She's <laughs> a YouTuber, an influencer, all that. She's super informative in her videos too. So yeah, check her out. But I decided to try some new flavors this time. This time I got red apple. Then I got the jojoba and peach. This one isn't new. This is the one that I picked up the last time I picked up my little round of Ulta lip oil. So yeah, I really like this one. Then I got pineapple and then I got the cranberry and pomegranate. But yeah, this is what I picked up from Ulta. Now I'm pushing these aside to show y'all what I got from Tajay. Now all the stuff I got from Target is new. I haven't tried before. So I got the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt with uh, the Melatonin Sleep Soak with Essential Oil Blend helps to ease aches and soreness from muscle pain and promote a better night's sleep. Then I picked up this Native Body Wash in the scent, <laughs> Lilac and White Rose. It's sulfate free, paraben free, dye free, phthalate free. On the back it has all the things it's made with and they tell you what it is for, which I really liked because you know a lot of the stuff on ingredients list, you don't be knowing what in the world they are. So I'm glad that they put that back there so you can see, you know, what it actually means. Then down here, directions, leather, sing, and rinse. Yeah, I talk to myself in the shower. I don't really sing, I talk to myself. And this smells really, really light. And I also got this body wash from Target. The Olay Cleansing and Nourishing with Hyaluronic Acid Body Wash. And I know we've all seen this or some variation of this on TikTok, but when I smelled it, I was like, yes, I'm getting that. Cause at first I picked up the native, but then I smelled this one and I couldn't decide which one to get. So I was like, I'm gonna just get them both. Cause you know, sometimes when you take a shower, you know, you wanna smell a, a certain way you know you don't want to smell the same every night sometimes you want to really light scent sometimes you want to you know smell grown and sexy and this is the grown and sexy one right here this smells so good and the last thing that i got from target is a skincare product i've never heard of this brand it's called boots and this is a hyaluronic acid moisturizer. It says, what is it? With plant derived hyaluronic acid, this product leaves the skin feeling intensely moisturized. What is it good for? It hydrates skin, skin looks brighter, which is something that I want because my skin has been looking very, very dull and skin feels smoother. So I'm interested to try this out. Um, It's vegan. Okay, I didn't realize that in the store and it's not tested on animals. I'm also gonna be on YouTube on the tizzy you know looking at reviews of this or if anybody's used it if you've used it let me know if you've used any of this stuff let me know how you like it so i'm super excited to try these and i will let you guys know how i like it so this is what i got from target this is what i got from ulta so i also wanted to share some other good news with y'all that <laughs> I have. So, y'all know how a lot of brands be doing all these giveaways and stuff on Instagram, and you're like, okay, nobody never wins that stuff. But I entered a giveaway on Elude's Instagram page. I saw it on a travel blogger's stories. Hey, Sierra, she's a travel blogger. She gives a lot of great information. I will leave her name on the screen. Laying in the bed, I just scrolling, and I saw it about the giveaway, and I was like, let me go ahead and enter. I ain't gonna win, but it don't hurt to try. So I entered, and I entered on the very last day that you could enter, like, six or seven hours before the end of the giveaway. Wasn't thinking nothing about it, had actually forgotten about it. And a few days later, I get tagged on Instagram saying that I won and the giveaway was a trip for you and a friend worth $5,000. So you can go anywhere, you and a friend with $5,000, like on a $5,000 trip that includes flight and hotel. Y'all, like that is a once in a lifetime type of thing. Cause I've always thought like, don't nobody win this stuff. Like, cause I be entering giveaways 
it's like, oh, I ain't gonna win. Even with this one, I was like, I ain't gonna win, but it don't hurt to try. Like, all I had to do was tag a travel buddy, say why we needed to get away, and boom, I was entered, and I won. Yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys, and I am about to, I don't know what I'm about to, I need to clean and sanitize my bathroom, I need to do some laundry. I don't need to cook because we have leftovers from yesterday. I made some macaroni and cheese, and I made a London broil roast in my crock pot, and I do not like that cut. I'm a chuck roast girl, but I didn't have one, so I used that, but I don't like that cut. I'm a chuck roast girl. It's so good and juicy and tender and mm. I also made my mom a pound cake yesterday. She requested it. And I made us some peach cobbler, which was gross because I used a different recipe than what I usually use, which was a mistake that I will not be making again, but it was a waste of my peaches and my sugar. But yeah, I made all that yesterday. Kaylin came in the kitchen, she was like, okay, so you just felt like chefing it up, huh? And even my mom, when she called to check on me and to check on her cake, I told her, you know, everything that I made and she was like, oh, so you just had a good burst of energy, but I really didn't. I was still struggling like energy wise. I had to keep sitting down on the stool or I would have to turn my pots down on low and go lay down for a minute or two just to catch my bearings because I still get lightheaded or dizzy. That did give me a little energy so I got back up and then I made the peach gobbler. So yeah, I don't have to cook today, praise Jesus.